Now that I've established a good link with my connection, I want to make sure that I can get a DHCP address. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to run an auto test. We can come down, we can look at our IPv4 DHCP. Now, our NetAlly Link Runner AT2000 sent a DHCP Discover. To that, we got an offer. We sent back a request, and we got an ACK. In this case, we can see our DHCP address is valid. There's no other devices using this DHCP address. We can see the subnet and the server that gave us this address. This is exactly what we want to see when everything's working correctly. Now let's take a look at some of the things that can go wrong with DHCP. So I'm going to run my auto test. I come in here. I'm going to see I get a DHCP address of 192.168.1.10. That's not one of the subnets that I have in my network. This is a great indication that we've got a rogue DHCP server out here. Could be somebody plugged in a router from home and now it's handing out DHCP addresses on my production network. Now here's another example of where things could go wrong. I run my auto test. I get a good link. I'm connected at gig full duplex. But I'm not getting a DHCP address. So I'm sitting here waiting and waiting. Now what can cause this? This could be a case where I'm connected to a network that doesn't have a DHCP server on it. Everything has to have static addresses. This could be a network where the DHCP server has run out of addresses. The DHCP pool has been exhausted. So this lets me know I've got a good link, but I can't get a DHCP address. And without an address, I'm not going to get anywhere. So it's these types of problems that we can troubleshoot when it comes to getting DHCP addresses when we're using the NetAlly Link Runner AT2000.